Number 5. Fujifilm X-T30 – Best Under $1000 Fujifilm's X-T30 brings the same 26-megapixel sensor, processor, and much of the features set to the high-end X-T3 at a more reasonable price. With the X-T30, you get Fujifilm's latest AF system, along with plenty of direct controls and a tilting touchscreen, all in a smaller body. The X-T30 makes use of the same APS-C size 26.1-megapixel X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor as the X-T3 and this has been designed with a backlit architecture to help it gather light as effectively as possible. The camera also gets the same X-Processor Pro 4 engine as the X-T3, although the lowest sensitivity in the ISO range is ISO 160 rather than the X-T3's ISO 200 base, which is good news if you tend to shoot outdoors in bright light, particularly with wide aperture lenses. The ISO range stretches all the way to ISO 12800, although for those times when it's absolutely necessary, you can extend this to an option equivalent to ISO 51200 at the upper end and down to an ISO 80 equivalent. There's no image stabilization system incorporated into the camera itself, which means you need to make sure the lens you're using has this if you want to take advantage of it. This isn't uncommon on cameras of this sort. High-end features and performance inside a lightweight, compact body, all for a pleasingly low price point? That's the name of the game with the Fuji X-T30. Number 4. Sony Alpha A6100 – Best for the Money The Sony A6100 is a 24-megapixel APS-C mirrorless camera aimed squarely at beginners and people who want attractive photos but don't necessarily think of themselves as photographers. A new, powerful autofocus system makes it one of the easiest cameras to use if you just trust it to do its thing and concentrate instead on what you're shooting. The A6100 specifications aren't cutting edge and it's priced accordingly. The A6100 is the best camera for anyone who wants to step up from their smartphone or an older interchangeable lens camera. Small enough for a coat pocket or purse, the A6100 is easy to bring along anywhere. It captures fine image quality even in full auto mode but it also offers considerable ability to refine settings and options. The A6100 is a perfect platform for beginners and intermediate-level photographers or videographers to refine their skills, up to pro level. The only thing I don't like about this camera is the design. Sony's stubborn embrace of poor interface design can be frustrating, but those drawbacks are minor for an otherwise fantastic photographic device. The A6100 offers superb still and video image quality in all shooting conditions, and the device's brilliant autofocus system greatly increases the chance that whatever you point the camera at will appear sharp. In short, this camera genuinely makes you a better photographer. Number 3. Canon EOS R5 – Best High-End Camera Canon's EOS R5 is an excellent camera for professionals or anyone that's looking for a supremely capable option for almost any type of photography, from sports and action to studio portraits and landscapes. It's a 45-megapixel full-frame mirrorless camera that can shoot clips of 8K video, has impressive dual-pixel autofocus and excellent ergonomics. It can also capture 10-bit HDR stills and video for HDR display, and is the spiritual and mirrorless successor to Canon's 5D series DSLR cameras. It's not a perfect camera, but I think it's an excellent and highly competitive addition to an already crowded field of competent high-resolution full-frame mirrorless cameras. The Canon EOS R5 is well suited for just about any type of photographer, whether you shoot portraits, events, weddings, sports, family gatherings, and more. We felt a bit let down by Canon's promises of the camera's outright video capability, but for most users, it's still a great option for getting good quality video clips of almost anything you pointed at. Power users that need the best video quality all the time won't be a good fit, but otherwise, the EOS R5 is a fantastic option for almost anyone looking for a quality, full-frame, high-resolution mirrorless camera. Number 2. Fujifilm X-T4 – Best All-Rounder The Fujifilm X-T4 is the company's latest high-end photo and video APS-C mirrorless camera. It brings in-body stabilization, faster shooting, improved autofocus, and a larger battery to the already very capable X-T3. Fujifilm says that the X-T4 is a sister model to the X-T3 rather than a replacement, which is borne out by the specs and pricing. It's a 26-megapixel camera capable of 20fps shooting and 4K capture at up to 60p. In use, we found it offers distinct benefits over the X-T3, and although the autofocus performance isn't cutting-edge, it offers one of the best stills and video options you can buy. 
The XT4 is solidly built with an all-metal design that retains all the mechanical controls you'd expect from the brand. Fujifilm's film-era body design is wrapped around an impressive new shutter mechanism with in-body image stabilization and a fully articulated rear touchscreen that can be turned around so it won't get scratched in your bag. Most of the improvements to the X-T4 are aimed at the hybrid still and video shooter. I wouldn't hesitate to say this is the best camera on the market right now for anyone who frequently switches between still and video capture. This is a near-perfect camera for the sort of photographer who wants the best of both worlds, great stills and good video. Number 1. Sony a7R 3 Best Overall The Sony a7R 3 uses the same sensor as the a7R 2 that came before it, but just about everything else has changed. The image processor and circuitry that drives it are new, which improves dynamic range. The processor also drives a new autofocus system, which allows the camera to track moving action at 10 FPS at 42 megapixel resolution. Add a high capacity battery, improved handling, and a larger viewfinder, and you have a full frame mirrorless camera that's as formidable as competing SLRs. It delivers outstanding images, video, and autofocus, enough to earn the number one spot in our list. Some might be disappointed that the a7R 3s resolution is unchanged from the a7R 2s at 42.4 million pixels, but this sensor is capable of outstanding quality, and the improvements to the continuous shooting speeds are much more important because the new model can top out at an amazing 10 frames per second at full resolution. The Sony a7R 3 was so advanced when it launched that even three years later it can still hold its own against the competition. Competing cameras have certainly caught up, but this is still a 42.4 megapixel powerhouse with image stabilization, 10 FPS burst shooting, and uncropped 4K video. And what the a7R 3 has that its contemporaries don't, however, is three years of price drops, which means that this camera can now be had for a real bargain price. Indeed, unless you really need the extra resolution, this is arguably a better buy than the Sony a7R 4 and the money you save can be invested in some great glass. Buying Guide Two Memory Card Slots The convention for a long time has been for cameras to be fitted with just a single card slot, and that works just fine. So why would you need two? First, with two card slots on board, you can carry on shooting once one memory card fills up. This also gives you the added convenience of being able to leave the first card where it is, rather than needing to remove it and store it safely. Alternatively, most cameras now allow you to record the same data to both cards at the same time, so if one memory card fails or gets corrupted, all your images and photos are safe. Ask any wedding photographer whether they think that's useful or not. You can also typically adjust the setup to your specific way of shooting, so that one card records RAW files and the other records JPEGs, for example, or so that stills are sent to one card and videos to the other. Hybrid Autofocus Hybrid AF systems bring together two focusing technologies, Contrast Detect AF and Phase Detect AF. This best of both worlds approach allows systems to benefit from the accuracy of the first with the speed of the second, and cameras that have both often perform better across a broader range of shooting scenarios. Hybrid AF systems do better at keeping track of moving subjects, for example, so they are particularly useful for sports and other action-based photography. They're also great for video recording, as they can fluidly move focus from one subject to another, something contrast detect AF systems alone struggle with. Weather resistance Whether you only tend to shoot in bad weather on occasion, or your focus is landscapes, nature, or anything else that requires you to be outdoors for prolonged periods of time, knowing your camera can resist the rain, cold, and dust is vital if it's to stay protected.